Good morning guys, welcome to this week's video. So we're at uh, Willow Lakes today in Cheddarston, which is just outside of Halesworth in deep dark Suffolk. We're out fly fishing today, hopefully we're going to catch some trout and we're going to be hot smoking on the Anave Frontier Stove. <laughs> Lakes, brilliant two lake day fishery and season ticket. You can see here you've got the good old faithful Thunderbox here, you've got a little cabin here as well where you can get running water, there's a kettle, there's electricity, you can make your uh, make your teas and coffee and stuff. So there's two lakes here on this uh, on this um, this property here uh, with a head of rainbow trout and, uh, and brown trout. I've only fished here once before, now I'm no professional when it comes to fly fishing, in fact this is only my second go when I'm fly fishing so please do stick some constructive co uh, criticism on the comments below because I'm still learning and uh, you know I'll take any any information on board really so like I said this is my second time fly fishing um, I was gifted some fly fishing gear from a friend of mine from his late father and um, I've always wanted to do it and uh, what he's given me is absolutely beautiful kit it really is all hand tied flies absolutely beautiful Feel really really lucky to carry on fishing uh, this way that this guy has fished all of his life this uh, father of my friend he's tied all of his own flies and you know to me this is absolute art which he's made here as well and I did contemplate actually uh, sticking these up on the wall but was uh, gracefully told no by the missus So I'm going to use a dry fly today. I'm going to use the same one that I used last time, which is this little bad boy at the bottom here. So all of these flies that I've been given here are all hand tied. So I have absolutely no idea what it's called. To me, it's just a hook with red stuff on it. It's got a bit damaged from last fishing, but I think that's still going to be okay. <laughs> Let's swap flies over again. There's a couple of the other guys that have just turned up and they're they're not catching neither. Maybe I had beginner's luck. Um, I'm going to go for another dry actually. Right, we'll come over to the other lake now. A um, couple of old boys that are fishing on that lake, so they basically just recommended this space here and uh, they told me to change my fly over, so I'm going to do that again now. And uh, it's a little bit calmer in here, there's not so much wind chop on the water here, so um, we'll give it a go by the lilies just here and see what we can get. Oh, here we are. There we go, lovely little rainbow. 
Well, at least we haven't blanked, that's the main thing. So I'm just tying him up on a bit of paracord, sling him in the water. And let's have a go to get another. At least we can cook something, that's the main thing. Right, just the one so far and a couple of trees. I'm gonna just have one more go over on the other bank over there and then I think it's time to go get the anive stove and uh, cook this one up. So I've got a couple of bits of fat wood. I've got some meths with cotton wool. So we'll quickly get this fired up. Right, let's get that fish out. Get that fish filleted and uh, get that all ready in the, in, the, uh, in the hot smoker. And then by that time that should be hot enough. It's just typical in it, they're all on the surface now, as soon as the sun comes out and I stop. Typical. So, decent rainbow trout, so we're just going to fillet this, gut it, get that ready. We're coming up from the vent, all the way, right up to the top, pretty much right to where the gill case is. And then we're going to take a knife, go through that part of the fish, then thumbs inside. Why does it never work so well when you're on camera? There we go. We're about to pull the whole gut sack out, like so. And then the only thing you need to do is you've got the kidney through the middle of the fish there. You just need to push your thumb up. And there we go, and that's gutted. Alright, I'm just going to rinse these. I've got a bit of grass on them. So the first thing we need to do here is just so the fish don't stick, I'm just going to wipe some oil over the grill and then we can just put the fish on there. I made a right abortion in that fillet. Now, salting wise, I always think it's probably best if you put double the amount of salt on that you would season a fish with if you were like frying it or baking it. So, and that's that's personal opinion really. So we'll get some salt stuck on these. smoke dust. So inside here I've got a mixture of beech, there's some juniper berries and there's also some dried wild garlic. There's plenty enough in there and then this base that goes over the top that's to protect the chip so that any fats or anything from the fish is not going to put out the, the smoldering uh, embers. So that's ready. dressing oh that is hot now anyway all that hard work paid off beautiful dinner let's get stuck in see what it's like
Right, that basically wraps it up for this week. Thanks for joining us this week here at Cheddarston Trout Fishing. We managed to catch one and uh, hot smoke it on the Anna Frontier Stove. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button just here. And as always, there's a couple of videos for you to take a look at. And then hopefully we'll see you next week on the next one.